AFTV, Graham, um, analyse that for us because that was a good performance today by us. I was impressed by the way we played, the way we popped it around. What, what, why was that? Why was that today? A job done first half. Uh, I thought we set up in a 4-3-3 today. A very fluid sort of formation, 4-2-3-1, 4-3-3. Ramsey sort of like uh, operating between the lines. I think Southampton set up in a 3-5-1-1. Uh, why was it so comfortable? I thought Southampton defended really poorly. I think the, uh, the pivotal moment in the game was very early on, Robbie. Um, five minutes into the game, uh, once again, our two centre-halves uh, pushing forward and Redmond gets in behind one-on-one -on -one with Leno. If that goes in, they're one up. But Leno makes a save with his legs and we go straight down the other end and score. Um, Southampton looked to me as though a team who don't understand how to play in a back five. Um, which There was so much space, centre-halves all over the place. I thought for all that, offensively, uh, uh, Jacka, first of all, was excellent uh, passing from the centre of the pitch. But what we did really well, we, we stretched the pitch. We stretched the pitch really wide with Mikatorin on one side and Awobi on the other. And Kalazanak was marauding up to join with Awobi. And the second goal again, another Southampton mistake. You have, you have to say that. Um, first of all, uh, I think it was Stevens made the mistake. Then Gunn made the poor kick out. And then Awobi latched onto that and put it across the box uh, for Mickey to score the, the second goal. What I liked about it is that uh, with Arsenal is that they were ruthless in those in those occasions and uh, and they did it very quick. Like there was, there was like well, with Iwobi in that situation, he, he got the ball, got it on the mistake, yeah. boom, ball straight in. Yeah, and, and, you know, and that's exactly right, Robbie. I think what we did really well today was we got the ball into the box quicker and earlier. We moved the ball quicker. There was some really nice one-touch passing today, a bit like Wenger's Arsenal at times, mm. which we don't see under Emery. Possession it seems to be a bit more conservative and sort of like not move the ball quick enough. We were moving the ball quick enough in that first 20 minutes. Southampton for me were really poor in the first half defensively. Um, they beat us at their place uh, with, with Redmond between the lines playing balls into the box. Redmond played up front on his own today and he struggled in that position first half and we were two up. Lacazette had three other great chances in the first half. Lacazette, I have to say, worked really well, worked up really hard today and what he offers a team is that uh, focal point where he brings the wingers into play. This is why I think Emery likes this sort of system with Lacazette as a lone striker with two uh, wide forwards supported by fullbacks, and that's what he, uh, his football's all about. And uh, I think to, you, know, you only play one forward in that role. So, and I think the thing why he's playing that today is that obviously we've got the game on Wednesday as well against Bournemouth. But I think he recognises now that obviously Europa League is very important for us. Lacazette is going to be suspended for the next two legs, and it, we, we don't want Aubameyang to get injured. So I think he's going to nurse that situation really well. So what do you think he'll do? against Tottenham next week. Do you think he'll just go with the lone, lone Lacazette up front? I think, he, uh, I think he, uh, he'll do that, yes. I think what, what he'll do is he'll keep the Bamiyan back for the last 25 minutes where he can stretch them maybe. It depends how the game plays out, of course, but I think we're going to have to be more solid. I think Ozil today came on and controlled the game. I think the reason he took Ramsey off, I think we were starting to lose a bit of the ball a bit and he wanted better control of the football. Mm. Ozil gives you that and that's why Ramsey came off. Uh, I don't think Ozil will play next week, he's not intense enough and I think Ramsey is intense and gives you that sort of uh, uh, work rate in the midfield where he can work in a three in midfield mm. and also um, work uh, in the cam position. I think Juventus have said that they see Ramsey as a third midfielder, don't they? And I think mm. today that position with uh, uh, Jacker and Torreira behind him suited him really well and, and he offered some good moments going forward. I thought Awobi was excellent today, I thought Kalaznak was superb. Uh, and I think Mickey in the first half was really good as well. Uh, Laka really worked hard from the front for the team. Socrates was immense at the back. Uh, and then Leno got his third clean sheet for Arsenal with three outstanding saves. And I think the save he made at nil-nil was pivotal. Had they gone one up Southampton, they would have then perhaps grown in confidence in that shape. Because they would play the 3-5-1-1, which is a very defensive shape. But we went straight down the other end and scored. So their game plan was out the window after six minutes. And they looked dishevelled all over the place first, our Southampton. But I do worry about us defensively, Robbie. I mean, if we go with this back line next week against Tottenham, I do think they're going to cause us problems. And, uh, uh, you know, for me, I think Socrates is our best defender. I think Koscielny next to him, that's a partnership. So I would like to see that. I worry about the right back position without Bellerin. I think maybe Mustafi going over there is a clue where he might go next week. Kalaznak is brilliant going forward, but, but once or twice today he was exposed in wide areas and his, his positioning and awareness of uh, players moving off him was there for everyone to see. And the better team, Southampton are down the bottom for a reason, Robbie. They don't defend well enough, but they don't score either. They don't score many goals. And they, they look better in the second half slightly with Austin uh, as a forward and Redmond back between the lines. 
But I, the second half was flat for me because Southampton, I think, were weary of the fact that they're very poor defensively and didn't take many chances. We then just managed the game quite comfortably for the clean sheet. And uh, that's what we did. I think the crowd today were very flat as well. The, the, I think sometimes the players... It's one of those old conundrums. Do the, the players need to do something to get the fans going? Do the fans need to do something to get the players going? But when your team's winning 2 0, if you can't enjoy that and, and get singing in behind the players, that's disappointing. But in the end today, I think it was all about managing the game. Uh, we managed the game really well. I thought Jacka, for me, uh, in the centre mid today, is passing. So it was one pass in the first half where he put uh, Abamyang in. It was absolutely world class pass. Uh, and uh, he was excellent today in the middle of the park. And I thought Awobi had one of his better games, you know, and uh, supported by Kalazan on that side. I think Awobi's under instructions, I think, now to get the ball in the box quicker. That, to me, seemed to be one thing I took out of the game today. Uh, and I thought Mikatarin offers us a balance on the right hand side. So if you're going to play, not play Abamyang and a Lacazette in a two, this is an ideal formation, isn't it, um, for the rest of the season? I do think that he'll be looked for upgrading quality in certain areas in the summer. But I think he's got the formation, the balance right. The balance offensively today was excellent. We managed the game, Robbie. And in the end, it was a comfortable 2-0 victory.